good? <coughs> Excuse me. Everybody ready? We're good? We're all good? Uh, um, first, I want to say our prayers, our whole community should be praying for the 60-year-old male who was shot this morning, uh, the 38-year-old female, and that female's six-year-old juvenile daughter. Uh, please pray for them. Uh, they're in critical condition right now. Uh, that family's going through a lot. And so for them and their entire family, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers right now as we as the Sheriff's Office and, and we as a community need to help solve this crime. So um, it appears it is a targeted situation. We do not believe there is a public threat. We believe that this house was specifically picked by the suspects. Um, preliminary information, as I said, this is still preliminary. We're still working this. It just happened early this morning, but we're still getting information that's coming in now. Uh, the main resident of the home, who was not at home at the time, last week had an altercation at an adult establishment in Tampa. Uh, right after that incident, there was a road rage incident uh, with the individuals that were involved in that incident in Tampa at that adult establishment. Um, we believe there is a correlation between last week's incident and this morning's shooting. Uh, about 4.40 a.m., uh, the 60-year-old father of the main resident he arrives at the house, which is in Lake Paget. Uh, when he arrives at this house around 4.40 a.m., there are four suspects outside. He ends up getting into a confrontation, altercation with these four suspects. Uh, they end up shooting him in the head. So after that, those four people, those four suspects go into the house. They start screaming, looking for the main residents of the house, the one who was involved in a uh, fight last week in the confrontation at the adult establishment in Tampa. As they're inside their house, they keep screaming for him, looking for him. Uh, they actually enter the, ma the master bedroom. In the master bedroom is the main resident's girlfriend and their six-year-old daughter. Uh, he ends up shooting the 38-year-old female in the head, and he shoots the six-year-old daughter in the head also. Uh, as I said, they're in critical condition right now, but you just talk about something that just breaks your heart of anybody getting shot. There's no reason to shoot innocent people while they're sleeping in their beds. Um, the suspects then fled the scene. Uh, a victim was able to notify 911. Uh, we arrived shortly thereafter. The 60 year old male who was shot in the front yard was able to give us some preliminary information, but he very quickly had to be transported to the hospital. Um, the, as I said, the three victims are in critical condition. Our victim advocates are available for the family. And for anybody in the neighborhood who's just upset by what's going on, so along with our chaplain program, our chaplains are out there. Any neighbors, anybody wants to speak to us, please go out there and talk to them because I know it's nerve wracking. Um, you know, we want to reiterate this. It looks like it was a targeted incident. It looked like that home was specifically targeted by the four suspects. And the one thing we're asking is anybody who has any information, uh, please let us know. Notify the Pasco Sheriff's Office. If there's anybody who has cameras out there, videos, please. Go back and check those cameras. If had you just been outside walking your dog at a time, something, we need any information we can get. What we want to do is try to apprehend these and speak to these people as quickly as possible because if they're willing to go in and shoot innocent people, you know, a six-year-old male and, and a mother and a six-year-old daughter while they're sleeping in the bed, who, who knows what they're else they're willing to do. So please, we need information as soon as possible. No, there's not, not this point. We're still trying to narrowed down as to who exactly we're looking for. The main resident of the home who was involved in that incident last week did arrive shortly after the deputies did. So we're just getting more information from them now. But the one thing, as soon as we get any information as the suspects or people of interest, we want to put that out there as soon as possible because we absolutely want to talk to these people. We want to find who did this. Um, not only for, you know, for that six year old daughter, I just to go back to I mean, How horrible is it? How evil must you be that you're shooting innocent people in their bed while they're sleeping? And to shoot a six-year-old, that six-year-old had nothing to do with anything. That six-year-old was probably going to wake up, go to school, you know, do, do a normal kid's routine, be excited for the weekend. But now she's fighting for her life because people who are just evil don't care about life. And that's the one thing. We live in a society now, unfortunately, where the respect for life is almost gone. And how do you, how do you not respect the life of a six-year-old? How do you not respect the life of the mother who's sitting there, you know, sleeping with her daughter, trying to protect her, and then the grandfather who's outside? So this is what we go back to. You know, we, we as a law enforcement agency, we have a very tough job. We can't do this without our community. That's what we're asking for any assistance. Anybody who's anything, please let us know because a family deserves, you know, 
that these people be held accountable. And those people will need to be taken off the street because if they're willing to do that to them, what other acts of violence are they willing to do out there? Mm. No, no, yeah, and that's what, that's what we're trying to pull cameras right now. If anybody in the residence, anybody who has any cameras in that neighborhood, let us know. We want to start, start pulling some information. All right. And we're good. Thank you all. Have a good day.